Hello, Mary. Yes, sir. Are you writing? Yes, please. Can you divide the line AB with A, 2,5? And B, 8,9. Have you gotten the coordinates? Yes, sir. Internally and externally, respectively. Internally and externally, respectively. Sir, please sit down. In the ratio, negative five is to three. Find the coordinates of P and Q. Find the coordinates of P and Q. Thank you, sir. Okay. Start work. So as soon as you finish, let me know. So anybody who finishes first will get the award. So I want the first person to finish.
Mas Hello. Hello. Yes. Whose answer is ready? Whose answer is ready? Hello, Mary. Yes, Hello. Sir. Is your answer ready? Ready is no. So anytime it's ready, you tell me. Yes, I want the first person to finish. Okay. So hurry up. Sir. 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 Yes. Please, I'm done. Mary. Sir, please, Rachel. Okay, Rachel. Um, Let sir, me hear you. What are the coordinates of P? I have the coordinates of P to be 17 and 15. <laughs> 17 and 15. Yes, please. What is of Q are what? 23 over 4 and 15 over 4. Okay. But the first one, look at the first one. You're almost there, but it's not exact. The second one is exact. Okay. Sir. Yes. Since I had the first one to be um the coordinates of P to be 17 and 17. 17 comma 17. Yes, sir. And the Q is what? Seven another. Okay. Hello, Rachel. Rachel. Sir. Yes, I think your your answer is correct. You said the P, the P is what? 17 and 15. Great, 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 great. You received the award. You received the award. Okay, the birthday cake will come to you. Love for yourself. <laughs> okay, Mary, have you gotten it?
Hello. Hello. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. So let's 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 pay attention. Rachel has gotten the answer. I don't know whether any of you have gotten the answer as well. Mary, have you finished? Yes, sir. Sir, please the P. Uh huh. Code seventeen and fifteen. And the Q. And the Q will be twenty three over four comma fifteen over two. Good, 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 good. Comma fifteen, fifteen also over four or over two. So sorry, over three four. over four. Yes, yes. Twenty three over four and then fifteen over four. They're twenty three over four. Hello. Oh. Sir, please, fifteen over two. Fifteen over two. Yes, what? It's fifteen over two. Yeah, fifteen. Is it over, two over, over two. No, you get negative thirty over negative eight. No, sir, you get negative sixty. Negative what? Negative sixty. Sixty. Yes. Yes. Sir. Over what? Over negative eight. Over negative eight. Yes, please. No. Won't you get um the first the first the first y will be negative five times nine, which is negative forty five. Yes, please. Plus plus fifteen. No, that's be minus. This externally. Yes, it's so minus minus because the trade twist minus that will be plus. You see, minus negative three times five. So the minus so, follow each other over there. The three is not minus. The three is positive. The three is positive. Okay. Yes. So that will be 45 minus 15. Minus 15. Yes. What is minus, minus what? 60. Yes, yes. Over eight. Yes. And that will give us. 15 over 2. 15 over 2. Great. And the S coordinate is what? 23 over 4. Good, good, good. That, that's correct. That's correct, okay? Okay, thanks. Uh -huh. Kofi, what, where have you got into? I had uh, 4P17 and 15. Okay. Then for Q, five four number three over four and then seven and a half. Okay, okay, okay. You fall down wall. That's great. Okay. So that is that was the a question on external and internal division of a line in a given ratio. So I know at this time all of you have gotten the concept. Okay, yes. the last time, the last time, let's look at what we did. We finished with uh, the slope of a line, right? Yes, please. Where we said, finding the slope of a line or the gradient of a line, the formula we use is y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. Okay. Yes, please. Okay. So the gradient, there is another way that we can define the gradient. That's what I've, I've tried to write on the board. The gradient of a line can also be defined as the tangent of the angle the line makes with the positive, the positive x axis. So the tangent can also be defined like this. Um, so 
So let's say the line cut the positive x axis. So the tangent of this angle is also defined as the gradient. So tangent of the angle, the line mixed with the positive x axis is also defined as the gradient of the line or the slope of the line. So the value of this angle will determine the slope. If the angle is small, then meaning the line will be here. If the angle is very big, the line will come to the top. So the tangent of this one also defines the, the slope of the line. So let's say, as usual, the line is AB. The line is AB. So the slope of the line is equals to the tangent of the angle. So here we shall write the gradient or the slope. So gradient, gradient, let's use M. Gradient M is equals to tan, tan theta, tan of the angle, the line mix with the positive x axis. The gradient M is equal to tan theta, tan of the angle. In that case, if you are to use a ratio, let's say we have a line here, and then let's call this one R, and then we call this one Q. We can also say that tan, Then theta is equals to, we know the formula for tan is opposite of adjacent. So here, if you are considering this one as a right angle triangle, then this becomes the opposite. And then this is the adjacent. Let's call this one P. So PQ is the adjacent. Then we shall say that R, RQ dividing PQ. So tan theta is equals to RQ over PQ. We have to use the ratio. Find the gradient of the line. find the gradient of the line. Find the gradient of the line, which makes an angle of which makes an angle of 45 degrees with the positive the positive x axis. When the gradient of the line which makes an angle of 45 degrees with the positive x axis. So in this one, you are giving the angle, the line mix with the positive x axis. And as I said, to get the gradient, it is tan of the angle, the line mix with the positive x axis. Okay, so here, the angle becomes, or the gradient, the gradient becomes, so here, gradient, Gradient 
L1 is equals to tan of the angle, so tan 45 degrees, which is equals to one. So the gradient, therefore, gradient of the line is equals to one. Second example. Find the gradient. Find the gradient of the line. Find the gradient of the line which makes which makes an angle. An angle of sixty degrees with with the positive x axis. So I, this I want you to solve it yourself. Find the gradient of the line which makes an angle of 60 degrees with a positive x axis. If it's tell me what the answer is. Sir. 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 Yes, yes. Hello, talk. Hello. Uh huh. What's the answer? Sir, please, I got the answer to the. Square root of three, which is one point seven three two. Okay, that that's that's correct. So that to be the turn of the angle, the line mixed with the positive exercise. So the gradient gradient will be equals to tan sixty. So sixty degrees, which is equal to root three, root what? Root three, right? And then root three is equal to one point seven three two. Okay. So your answer is correct. Hello, Mary. Yes, sir. Have you gotten it? Yes, please. Okay. So we can also apply the gradient to find collinear points. So let's write collinear points. Linear points. Collinear points. What are collinear points? Can anybody help us? Collinear.
Hello. Hello. What are collinear points? Can you hear me? Yes, please. What are collinear points? When do you say two or three points are collinear? Say when they are all on the same line. Very good. Collinear, like co-worker. When I say somebody's my co-worker, it means we all work in the same company, right? Yes, sir. So the same way applies to collinear. Collinear points also means that they are all on the same line. All the points can be found on the same line. Then we say they are collinear points. So collinear points, if you want to write the definition, you can say that points which lie on the same straight line are said to be collinear points. Points which lie on the same straight line are said to be collinear points. So let's say you have this line. And this line has or is created by three points. The line we have point A with its coordinates, let's say x1, y1. We have point B, let's say S2, Y2. Then we have point C, which is S3, Y3. So these are three points which are on the same line. Because they are on the same line, say so they are collinear points. They are collinear points. For us to determine whether a point or points are collinear, whether three points in a line are collinear, we must find their gradients. So the gradient between any consecutive points and the other consecutive points should be equal. So we are saying that the gradient of, so gradient of, the gradient of AB should be equal to gradient of gradient of DC. So when we check and the gradient of AB between this and this is equal to the gradient between this and this, then we conclude and say that since the gradients of this is equal to this, therefore the Three points lie on the same straight line. Hello, Kofi. Hello. Yes, I hope you can hear me. Yes, I can. Okay. How can we test for points which are collinear? How can we test, Kofi? What shows that three points are collinear? They are on the same line. If they are on the same line, but what can we do to make sure that they are on the same line? What can we do to conclude that they are on the same line? They would have the same gradient. Yes, so if the gradient between the first, the first two points, like A and B, so we first find the gradient between this and this. After that, we also find the gradient between the B and the C. 
So the gradient between A and B is equal to the gradient between B and C. Then we will conclude and say that the three points are collinear points, right? Okay, so let's use these points, A, B, C, A, to find the gradient. So assuming we are finding the gradient between A, B, the gradient, let's, let's make it M1. So M1 will be equal to, let's use the coordinates over here. That will be Y2 minus Y1, dividing X2 minus X1, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so the same way, you also find a gradient between B and C. So the gradient between B and C, let's call it M2 to be equals to, that until let's use this coordinate, that to be X3 minus X, sorry, Y. That to be Y, Y3 minus Y2. Dividing X3 minus X2. Okay, according to the point that I've written there. So we say that if, if y2 minus y1 dividing x2 minus x1, if this one is equal to y3 minus y2 dividing x3 minus x2, then we conclude and say that the three points are collinear. If this is equals to this. Okay, so with this, let's de let's let's determine whether the the following points are collinear points. So the points are A, 3, 2. A, 3, 2. B, 5, 3. So test and see. A, 3, 2. B, 5, Comma three and C negative five negative two. Let's test to see whether these three points will lie on the same straight line. So now let's find the gradient of AB. So gradient of AB. Gradient of AB. Let's call it M1. The gradient of AB will be equal to Y2, which is 3, minus Y1, which is 2. Dividing X2, which is 5, minus X1, which is 3. So this will be equal to 1 on 2. So that's gradient between A and B. We call it M1. And then we also take gradient, gradient of B, C, between B and C. Let's call it M2. M2 equals to Y2 minus Y1. So here we take this out to be Y1. 3 over x2 minus x1, x1 is five. So this will give us negative five, dividing negative what? Negative 10, which is equals to one on two.
Are the ingredients the same? Yes, please. So therefore, how do you conclude? Therefore, the three points. Therefore, the points A, 3, 2, B, 5, 3, and C, which is uh, negative 5, comma, negative 2, are collinear points. Or they are collinear. They are collinear points. Or they lie on the same straight line. Okay, so determine which of the following set of points. Let's take the following question. Are you ready? Determine which of the following set of points. Determine which of the following set of points. Determine which of the following set of points. Are collinear. Determine which of the following set of points are collinear. Number one. Number one. Point A has a coordinate negative one comma one. Point B has a coordinate one comma six. And C has a coordinate negative three, negative four. So determine whether or not they are collinear points. Two. C has a yes. Please, um, there are coordinates. Negative one, positive one. The Thank B you, coordinate. Sir. Okay. B coordinate one six and the C coordinate negative three, negative four. Then number two. P coordinate is three, comma, negative four. Yo is Q negative six and R and R is eleven. Sorry, R is one negative five. One negative five. Number three. Here is eight two. L is five negative two. And M is negative one. Negative ten. So these are the three questions. Determine which of them are collinear. 
and which ones are not by finding the gradient between any any consecutive points. Are you on it? Yes, please. Are you done? Yes. Hello. Hello. Are you done? Yes, please. Okay, what the first one? What what is your conclusion? Um the points A, B, and C are collinear points. Why do you say that? Because the because the gradient of line A B is one over two and the gradient of line B C is also one over two. Okay. Because they have equal gradients, they are collinear. Yes. Did we get one over two? The gradient of A B is it one over two?
Yes. Hello, did you get one over two? Hello. Hello. Hello, sir. Ah, the first one, did you get one over two? Yes, please. The first one, the ingredient is what? One over two. One over two. Okay. Five. Five over two. No, sir, one over two. Please, please, excuse me, I'm coming. Hello. 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 Yes. 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 So, what was the answer? Sir, please. Uh, for question one, there are collinear points because um gradient A B is five over two, and gradient B C is also five over two. Good. Then the second one. For, for question two, they are not collinear. They are not collinear. Because, yes, sir. What, 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 what gradient did you get for the first one? Gradient PQ, I had two. Okay. Then gradient QR, I had neg one. Okay. So they yeah, are not equal, said, therefore. Therefore, they are not collinear points. Good. And the third one. The third one. For gradient KL, I had four over three. Okay. And then the second one. And for gradient LM, so I had four over three. Okay, so what's your conclusion? So, therefore, the point KLM are collinear points. Good. Hello, Kofi, did you get the same? No, Kenaba. Hello. Yes. Okay.
Now there is one question here. One question to attract some reward. It's still on collinear points. Okay. So that I want you to try your hands on it and make sure you get it correct. It's still the application of collinear points. Okay. Okay, sir. So let's let's write the question. I want the first person who will get it correct who will get a reward. So write the points. The points. I write it on the board. The points. One comma a. Comma. Three, comma two, and four a, comma negative one are collinear points. Are collinear points. Are collinear points. Fine. Possible and the possible values values of A. One the possible values of A. That's all. Think deeply about this and try to get the values of A. Meaning A can be more than a single value. You can get two values for A. So that's the meaning of find the possible values of A. The first point, one comma A. The second point, three comma two. And the third point, four A comma negative one. Are collinear points. Find the possible values of A. Your time starts now. i <laughs> Hello. Hello, sir. Yes. Have you gotten the values? We are still working on it. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. No, a Bluetooth and I open a jammer. I'm on
Aku jawab pasal orang bahasa Sebelah Sebelah Anybody with their answer? Uh, I had for A1 was zero, and then A2 was five or four. Okay. Five or four and zero. So I mean the values of A are zero and five over four. Five over four. Thank you very much. Mary. Yes, sir. What what are your values? Sir, please. Hello. Yes, I'm listening. Sir, please, I'm not done. Okay, go ahead. Rachel, are you done? No, please. Okay, go ahead. But Kofi, check your, your next value, the, the other value of A. The zero is okay. But the other one you said, check that one. The answer I have here is different from what you said. I'm Hello. Yes. Is the answer ready for any of you? So from here, let's make y minus y1 the subject first by dividing by x2 minus x1. So y minus y1 is equals to is equals to x minus x1 
multiplying y2 minus y1 all divided by x2 minus x1. You get that. So if you are making y the subject, it means we shall take this y1 to the other side. Okay. So y would be equals to x minus x1 multiplying y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. And then plus y1. This will be when we make y the subject. Is it okay? Hello? Hello. Yes, sir. Please, have you gotten it? Yes, sir. Now let's take this question. And we find the equation of, of the line. Are you ready? Find the equation of the line passing through the two points. Find the equation of the line passing through the two points. The first point A has the coordinate 1, 2. And B has the coordinate 3, 4. Find the equation of the line. Passing through these two points. Passing through these two points. So just like when we substitute into this, we can write the A here to be 1, 2. 1, 2. And then the B. The B will be three comma four. Three comma four. So now we find a gradient between A B first, between the line A B. Then we come and find the equation or the gradient between the line A P. Then you, we equate the two gradients. And finally, we make y the subject, and that will give us the equation of the line. So I'm waiting for you to find the equation of that line.
Let me finish. Tell me the answer. I'm my i yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Rachel. Rachel, are you, done? are you done? No, sir. Are you on it or? Yes, please. Or you cannot do it? Yes, I can. Yes, I know you can. Kofi? Kofi, are you on it? Yes, I am. Hurry up, hurry up. This one is easy. I know all of you can do it. So hurry up, our time is almost up. Okay, for the sake of time, let's work it on the board so that I'll give the rest to you on the page to do as an assignment. Okay? Okay. So the gradient, gradient one will be equals to Yes, Rachel. One is equal to one. With it, one is equal to y two. Let's let's substitute the values. Y two. What is the value of y two? Four. So 
So four minus y1. Y1 is what? Two. Dividing. X is three. Minus. One. So that to be equals to you. Two on two, which is one, right? That's the unit of AP, which we denote as M1, okay? That's AB, gradient of AB is equal to that. Now we find the gradient of AP. So let's call that an M2. M2 equals to X. The values. The values. The gradient of AP. X minus. Will it be X or X? Y minus. Y minus the Y1. So what is the Y1? Two. So Y minus two. Yes, please. Dividing X minus minus uh -huh. one. Minus one. Yes, please. Okay. So this is the gradient of AP. Then we put it to the gradient of AP. The first one we put. So which implies that y minus two dividing x minus one is equal to one. Yes. Okay. Yes, please. Uh, so when we cross multiply, we get x minus 1 is equal to y minus 2. Yes, please. So our y is equal to x minus 1 plus 2. So y yes. is equal to x plus 1. 1. x plus 1. This gives us the equation of the line joining A and B. Okay. Have you gotten it? So just like this. Let, let, just like this. This is A. And this is B. With the coordinates. So you find the gradient of between A and B first. Then P is any point on the line with the coordinate x comma y. Okay. After finding the yes. gradient of this, then you can find the gradient of this AP. Then you create the two gradients. Make our y the subject, and then you get the equation of the line. Okay, sir. Okay. So here it seems it's already 12, it's even past 12. God willing, we continue on next week, Monday, still on the equation of a line with the other 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 conditions. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. But but I will put the assignment as usual on the page. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. And you do it and submit for your listing. So, as as I said, who won who won the the award? Who won the award? Hey, please, which one? The birthday cake award. <laughs> hey, please me. Okay. So today today is my birthday. All of you are invited to my birthday party. Okay, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, any question? Uh, sir, 
Yes. So please, when you solve it, your answer is supposed to be y is equal to x plus one. Like yes. It's yes. supposed to be in the equation form. So you're not substitute or do anything. Pardon? You're not substitute or do anything. No. After no. you get your answer. No, just just write the equation is what we want. So here, y is equal to x plus one is the equation of the line. Okay. Okay, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yeah, God willing, when we meet, we shall do more of this. Okay, sir. Yes. But I'll be prepared to answer some questions related to this in the assignment. Okay, sir. Kofi. Hello, Kofi. Yes. yes. I want to hear your voice. Any question? None. It's okay. Eh? Yes. Okay. So as we go, let's revise the rest before we meet next week. Okay. Okay. Thank you and Goodbye. Bye, sir.